Hey guys, this is April 13. Welcome back to Let's Play Soul Blazer. Um, we are in the process of exploring the underwater place. So, when we last left off, we were gonna go have a look at this left hand path. So, we're gonna go do that now. And it's rather anticlimactic. There's just a fish thing there. So, what we gotta do is we gotta trek back, but since we've made this shortcut, it's going to be a lot simpler. Mm -hmm. We killed this. We killed those. Now what we're going to do is we got to go up here. Go here. And we take this shortcut. We'll go look up here. Nothing here. But. Over here. There's another island. And this island is made up of uh, creepy things. Like, no, seriously. It's like living palm trees. The whole time. The only break you get from the living palm trees... Well, you get apes, but... You get basically, you get living palm trees, you get apes, you get the jumping fish, and I think there's probably some living rocks here. We released a mermaid, she's over there guarding that step, that treasure chest. Um, we can't get in there yet. Um, to the best of my knowledge, we can't. Um, there's that thing. That's probably a rock spawn point. And here's a bunch of rocks. <laughs> this is just a path that... Uh... Oh, hi! Oh, crap. We just died. We just died and... We lost our gems. So now we actually do kinda need gems. But since we're here, we might as well go talk to that other dancer, right? Right. Anna. One of the queen's dancers. We have Anna and Cam. We have Anna and Canna, and we've got the teacher. Who's the next one gonna be? Panna? Or maybe even Fanna? That would be nice, wouldn't it? It's been a while since we've seen a nice Fanna. Well, Fanna was never very nice, but you know what I mean. So we've got a gem. Wow. I'm glad you don't have to buy anything in this game. Your gems are just your magic power. Because if we had to buy anything, we'd be screwed. Yeah, this is a strange thing about um, some Enix games. They just they don't have any currency. Like, you just can't buy things. There's... <clears throat> There may be shops, but you can't buy things from the shops. Um, this is... This is really kind of how the whole series... Well, not the whole series, but all the parts that actually made it to America, that's how it, that's how it goes. Um, what do we have here? Watching over the world, take this. We received experience. I'm going to stay here. We got experience from the jewel guy, jewel angel thing, which is always nice. Um, I like it a lot better when we have gained enough to gain a level from it, but, you know, all experience is good, right? <clears throat> So here we are, killing the apes, killing the apes, um, 
<clears throat> Here I am, not talking very much. Um, so I've run into this habit. I've, I've been just kind of watching a lot of Let's Plays, so I'm like... Wait, and um, playing games on my own, just outside of my Let's Plays. Um, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VIII lately. Um, one of my favorite LPRs is playing that, and... Um, it's funny because um, he's actually playing it and making the LP really interesting, but Final Fantasy VIII was, was my favorite, um, at least for PlayStation, then Final Fantasy X. Um, yeah, I know. I like the uh, kind of just popular games that attracted um, a lot of hate from the fandom. Um, I just felt they were very enjoyable games. Um, like, Final Fantasy VIII was just a, a fun game. Um, don't get me wrong, it had a lot of problems. I mean a lot of problems. Um, biggest of all was probably the junction system, but um, if I ever get... Because I've, I've been playing it on my keyboard. If I ever get a... Um, video game controller and um, a decent video editor so I can edit out some of the uh, random battles um, without well I mean I could just pause it but I would and, and have it look crappy but uh, or even just show all the random battles which would just be blah um, <clears throat> but um, no, if I ever get, like, decent video editing and stuff, um, I would kind of like to just go through that, um, just, but yeah, um, anyhow, so here we are, we've unlocked another mermaid in a room over there, who had, who we still can't talk to, okay, fish boy, good, fish boy, Lots of fish. Wait, where did you come from? Oh! There's... Rocks. Holy freaking crap! Oh my god! Gosh. That was cheap game. Really freaking cheap. Just so you let just so you know, that was uncool. Okay. So here we are. We have unlocked an angel fish. The power to stop the magma rain. He will help. That's cool, because we've never even seen the magma rain before. The only reason we know it exists is because that other one told us. Um, so yeah. The game pulled some really dick moves. Um, and there's our mermaid statue. The passage for you. Return to me. Okay. So she's going to help us, and the angelfish is going to help us, and let's uh, make sure that we've killed everything here. Um, well, the fish don't count. Um, but let's see, we got the water, we got the fish, they're all... The fish are all going to die eventually. Um, but yeah, so I think we've got everything. So, instead of walking back... We're going to use this, and we're going to teleport back. Alright, and now we get to talk to the um, mermaid statue. Walk downward under the sea and go to the volcanic island, Durin. Okay. So that's been opened. That's at the very bottom left of the screen. Um... Now we're going to go down here and talk to this angelfish. 
Even though I don't look like it, I am from the sky, just like you. I will protect you from the magma. Please try and protect all creatures. Let's work together so we may revive the world. Alright, so now we've got a friend who will help us avoid the magma. And we can find out what's in this treasure chest next time on Let's Play Soul Blazer. Until then, this has been Zabriel13. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!